Hi, this video is going to show you the best way to set up Scale Navigator MIDI VST on Ableton. So the first thing we're going to do is go to our plugins. Uh, Scale Navigator MIDI VST, VST3, should be under the company Scale Navigator LLC. That's me, who made Scale Navigator MIDI VST. Let's go ahead and drop it on the furthest left MIDI track. Um, I generally tend to like to set it up on the furthest left because we're going to be routing MIDI out of this track into all the other tracks that will have instruments on them. So uh, one thing we're going to do is in this track, which is going to be receiving MIDI, let's give it an instrument, let's give it anything, something operator should work. And we want the MIDI to come from uh, track one, Scale Navigator MIDI VST. And we want to select Scale Navigator MIDI VST um, down here. Um, so let's go ahead and turn on, let's make a quick little MIDI track. Something I like to do is make a riff out of the whole tone scale because uh, it sounds really good as uh, remixed and modified and modally inflected by Scale Navigator MIDI VST. Um, yeah, should be good, like something like that. And great, we're ready to go. Um, yeah, so starting off in the whole tone, we'll have we go to the whole tone scale, we'll hear this riff uh, completely unchanged. But we can start modulating with Scale Navigator MIDI VST to other scales. We can hear it change. Let's slow this down a little bit. Slow down the tempo. We can go over to MIDI effects, we can go to chord, we can grab, you know, fifth chord, something like that. And we can do other fun stuff too with randomness. Let's go ahead and add, you know, drama before Scale Navigator so that uh, as notes are randomized, they will then get corrected so that they're part of the right scale. Hated that. That was bad. <laughs> Change the choices by a lot. Let's have two choices. Yeah, that's probably the best way to set up Scale Navigator MIDI VST uh, for, you know, routing MIDI on Ableton Live. Thank you.